Uh, today's date, the first thing I want to do, we're going to take a date and time. We're going to do it like this. When this stuff was uh, recorded. And uh, this is about the case in respect to myself. This is my name. There is my video here. You can see me. And I understand this was uh, written on a January 2019, 8th January 2019, Tuesday. And it says here, Dossier Corruptia. And you can see the site where this thing was published. This is uh, this is just uh, for the first time I have seen this, uh, and it is in Slovenian language. And I don't mind this. I don't mind investigating stuff. It just it says here that uh, uh, in uh, that in opinion of these people that published this here, it's my being. Uh, The knowledge here is with a with with abundant imagination, that kind of stuff. So what we want to do is we do want to abundant imagination. So this is when, first of all, I did not relocate it to the Lodz, to the Poland. I ran for my life. To Lodz in Poland. These are two different things. I did not relocate there. I ran for life. Basically, I escaped yet another assassination, psychiatric assassination attempt against me. That's basically what I did. Due to circumstances, as I was left with no choice, I moved to Lodz, Poland. So this is really, really uh, it written also that I have a lot of problem with the people and that I'm also homeless in Poland and that I am that uh, I obtain assistance from social services in Poland and stuff like this. So. <laughs> yeah, this must be uh, must be, but not me, but somebody who is interpolating me into something else. I see here. Um, that's, uh, I'm mistaken that all this stuff, this is, um, a product of my, my imagination, yeah. So this is, uh, really a problem I do have. Well, uh, the good and the bad news is that people started to talk about this case in Slovenia. And um, I don't have a problem, of course, meeting with the psychiatrists. I don't have a problem meeting with the psychologists, with the court institution. As soon as they acknowledge that I was not allowed to obtain opinion from the second psychiatrist as soon as they acknowledge that they have absolutely no arguments in acknowledging me as a mentally ill um, I don't have a problem with absolutely anything I am open to every possibility but first thing that I do require is for the Slovenian psychiatry as such as for Slovenian judicial system to openly declare that I was not granted a chance, despite my requiring, requesting 
on numerous occasions demanding a second opinion from psychiatry that in fact for no less than 10 years in a row 10 years in a row slovenian psychiatry avoided the issue of what is known as the right of every european union citizen to obtain opinion from the second psychiatrist 10 years in a row they avoided 10 years in a row they used the psychiatry the police against me persecuted me with the threats institutionalizing me with baseless claims lies against me to avoid that basic right which is otherwise granted to every citizen of the European Union that's basically the right to opinion from the second psychiatrist and as I indicated lately just week ago when psychiatrists attempted to obtain even a tape which would be used for me to point at myself as something being wrong with me um, this question remains open with more and more proofs against Slovenian psychiatry against the foremost this is not about Slovenian psychiatry it's about the police the police did this stuff uh, police because it's the police the one the one whose job is to lock the psychiatrists that engage in a criminal behavior behavior lock them up prevents any kind of criminal activities within the field of psychiatry therefore it's the police that dictates the psychiatrists this kind of procedures against me they dictated them and it was the police that covered up this stuff this this concerns the police not even the Slovenian psychiatry it concerns the police more this is a police corruption this is a this is interior ministry problem Slovenian interior ministry is what the problem with this stuff is Uh, listen, I am burdened with the thinking about MK Ultra. I am rejecting the jobs. Listen to this stuff that I'm rejecting the jobs. Well, the thing is that I have never rejected any kind of job. Um, I am surprised I am shocked that this type of stuff is actually uh, that this was investigated in a such a way but I at the same time I have to say that I am pleased that people s started that there is an inquest that people started inquiry about this issue it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter even if it's uh, if it's if it's a bad, uh, if it's a bad, with idea to create to to cause like a like a bad, um, I'm not gonna say a reputation opinion about me to basically slander me. This is a slander. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. It's good because in between the lines as soon as i get attention and people start to read and see people start to see this stuff and understand this stuff there's no psychiatrist not a single one psychiatrist in this world that at this point in time that would look in this case and would say well you know the psychiatrist that could not face criminal charges afterwards for lying for a misconception, for spreading a misconception about someone against whom MK Ultra, the least, took place. That could go out publicly and acknowledge this as a product of imagination. So I, I like it. I like the publicity as such. It does not bother me at all. This is good. This is good. I, I even like bias in this case. Even this, I don't have a, full, I don't have a problem with it.
No, I don't even know. I don't know anything. I uh, this this is something yet. I'm gonna have to go over. Uh, I will have to. Oh, this is good. This is good because I would really, really like to meet with these people here, and uh, you know, I'm actually looking forward to meet with these people. Uh, this would be awesome. Yeah, it will be good to meet with these people. It will be great for me to meet any psychiatrist, any any person, a psychologist, a psychiatrist. At this point in time, and, and it's actually, it's the stuff that does not solve the dilemma of the psychiatrist, psychology, deeply involved in this stuff. This is just a problem that is becoming more and more severe, more acute, acutely problem, more and more acute for the field of psychiatry and psychology. I started to present a legitimate challenge for that matter. And as an expert in psychology and as a psychiatry as I am, 20 year, 28 years of MK Ultra investigations of my own that involved torture of MK Ultra in which I am involved alone. Well, Mr. Daniel Rex Smith, psychologist from the United States of America that was involved in this case, and according to Donald Trump, this must have been a top three psychologists in United States of America. Uh, but that's a country that knows a whole lot about the psychology and the psychiatry. I have a top skill when it comes to psychology and psychiatry. I think I have. I think I am more versed. I think I am more capable than any psychologist. And for that matter, I'm asking Mr. Daniel Smith to excuse me than any psychologist ever was. I am the one who researched my own case, and I'm the one who avoided the worst for 28 years. And this regardless to the circumstances and degree of the political influence I was exposed to. And I was, let's say, around the worst that this world have produced as far as the influence wise. If the people like this destine you to die uh, you, as a victim of some political agenda, have a very slender chances to survive even year two, three. One, two, three. It took a great ordeal, a great strength, mental strength and power for me to stay alive for no less than 28 years. This is the truth about Bushtia analysis. This is about myself.